Hey everyone, I'm Maria Cavasuto and I'm here at Nightbird Studios where artists like Jordan Sparks, Drake, and Madonna have all recorded music. Today, we're going to be dropping in with Raz, who most recently produced Game On by Waka Flocka and Good Charlotte for the upcoming Adam Sandler film, Pixel. Living in a daydream Serenity is all i found You're the rhythm in my heartbeat Oh, you know I love that sound so we're here with Raz at Nightbird Studios. Okay, so you've recently co-wrote and co-produced Game On by Waka Flocka and yeah. Good Charlotte for the upcoming Adam Sandler film, Pixels. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to ask you is, how is it different you know, producing and writing for a film versus for an artist on their album? It's uh, definitely much more specific. I think that like um, when you're working on an artist's album, you're able to sort of uh, improvise a little bit more. Whereas with the film, they're much more like direct in what they want and what they expect and, and what they're looking for. In the end, we get to see this very cool thing that we created paired with the visual of the film. And now like the way that they're incorporating it into the film is really cool. So on July 24th, when it comes out, everybody go see it and hear Game On at the end when the credits come on. Okay, well, given that it is such a, you know, fun concept for for the movie and also just the song, it's like really got some great energy. If you had to pick a color to represent it, what would you choose and why? Hmm, that's a really interesting question. <laughs> I've never been asked that before. If your song was represented by a color, which color would it be? Uh, I was going to say red, like, um, and the reason being is just because of how aggro it is. It's really aggressive and, and very, and the speakers, like, were peaking the entire time we were making it. We were all the way to 11. You've worked with everyone from, like, Good Charlotte to Waka Flocka to, like, Avicii, um, Dimitri Vegas, and, like, Mike. So those are all kind of across the board in terms of genres. Yeah. If you had to pick one for yourself, like, the one that really just makes you tick, which one would you choose? Out of all my collaborations, I don't know. Just because I think that each one sort of, it's its like they're their own favorite, you know? Like when I work with Diplo, it's like that's completely different than anything I do with Avicii or anything I do with All Time Low or Five Seconds of Summer or any of the, you know, any of the rock bands or then you switch to like pop music and that's completely different. its It's less to me about favorites and more about like, just creating cool things that are, are different and show evolution in music, you know, and, and not being afraid to sort of blur the lines where genres live and create like a merge of all sorts of different music. And what's your favorite film score or film soundtrack, whichever one you like better, really? That is one of the coolest questions. Thank you for asking that because You're welcome. nobody ever asked about that sort of thing. Michael Dana is one of my favorite scorers of all time and the Moneyball score was like incredible, but I might have to say Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, the social network was like, hands down, my favorite score. The way that they did that was just unbelievable. And what Michael Dana's brother, um, I can't remember his first name, but he scored the new Kurt Cobain documentary with HBO, The Montage of Heck. And that was like unbelievable to hear the way he like replayed all of the old Nirvana songs with like bells and piano and strings and it was really creepy. It was almost like Danny Elfman scoring a Tim Burton film. And uh, and yeah, so it's like those are my, my go-tos, you know? The Danny Elfmans, the Michael Danas, the Trent Reznor, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like fangirling over here because you're literally talking about my favorite people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what can we expect from you in the near future? Um, so I just started my own record label and publishing company and I'm starting to, I just signed my first artist and um, she's getting ready to start rolling out her music and her name's Lindsay James. Um, I have new records coming out with Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike. I've been working uh, with Kygo and his team on some new stuff. Uh, I just did a record with Jake Miller, and so now I'm just trying to continue to write and, and beat what I've already had come out, you know? That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, and yeah, I mean, catch Pixels out July 24th, yes. and listen to Game On. It'll be on the ending credits, end credits, and um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>